Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Mo Creatures Minutes. Today we are looking at the newest mob added to the game, and it is the Golem. So as you can see over in the distance here, there is this rotating thing with a face. And if it's a hostile mob, only spawns at night, you can change whether it spawns at normal, easy, etc. But if I just march over here, you can see it has a rotating stomach, and it has a diamond block attached to it as well. So if I get up here, if you get in within eight blocks of this golem, oh, it has an emerald block attached to him, sorry. If you get within eight blocks, you're going to see something kind of cool start, and there's an amazing custom soundtrack with these, with these uh, golems. So I need to get a little bit closer, and as you can see, this block here, a block over there, has started floating towards him, and that is how he builds himself. So you get the anvil sound, there's some other sounds and he slowly starts building into a monster. And they only start building themselves if you get within eight blocks of them. So I would suggest not building a house <laughs> uh, without having a lot of light sources around. So once he is fully built, he will attack you. However, I'm on creative mode. So let's just switch into survival mode. Bam, here he comes. Oh god, and he throws blocks at me. I didn't realize that. This is actually the first time I've looked at these golems on survival mode, so I had no clue that he throws blocks at you. So even though I'm quite a ways away, he can still potentially hit me. So he's using himself, so as you can see his arm kind of disintegrated there. So he's actually throwing himself at me, but then grabbing blocks uh, from the rest of the environment. So to kill him, you have to hit that block in the middle of his chest. So they are pretty tricky. So I can only hit them if that block is visible. Thank god I actually have knockback on my sword. So as long as that block isn't visible, you're not going to be able to hit him. They are pretty tough, and they do have a substantial amount of health. So let me get all the way over here before I die. And then when he dies, he has the potential of dropping that block that he had attached to him. So this one had an emerald block. So if I can manage to kill him without him killing me, then he has a very good chance of dropping that emerald block. So if I can just... Ah! Oh, he got me instead. They have the most amazing custom sounds ever. I am very impressed with this mod. Or this mob. I just need to get away long enough to... Oh, he's still hitting me from way over there. Holy cow. How far away do I have to get before he won't attack me? Okay, he stopped throwing blocks at me, so I'm gonna spawn myself some food. Ah, he's still throwing blocks! Okay, I need to... Okay, it seems to be paused for a second. Golden Apple Ahoy! Okay. Now. Oh! Great, and another thing I forgot to mention. They regen. They have health regen. So while I'm attacking him, he can slowly regenerate his health by adding more blocks to him. So that's not really a good thing. So me running away did not help at all. I just uh, actually gave him time to regenerate his, uh, his life. So it's probably going to take quite a few hits now to destroy this dude. And he can use pretty much any blocks to build himself. And uh, as far as I know... They now use uh, sand. Before they didn't use sand, but now they can. Because before they couldn't use any block that had gravity. But now they can. So now he can use gravel and sand to build himself. Eh. No, I want to hit you.
Ah, he dropped sand on me. Come on. I still have my health regen at the moment. So the point of this is you pretty much want to kill them before they even start uh, grabbing blocks. So as you can see, this is taking quite some time. Come on. Whoa. Okay, there we go. He exploded. And there's the emerald block. So you grab the emerald block, obviously you put that there, you can get nine diamonds, etc. So it is a pretty decent resource of ores, especially if they have emerald or diamond or blocks attached to them. So let me see if I can't go back to fire resistance. What? Not really sure where... Oh, right, the, the apples are pretty fancy now. Nowadays. Um... There can only be a maximum of two golems per chunk, and they only spawn in the surface world. So you won't find any golems in the nether, and you won't find any in the end, or in caves, etc. Et they only spawn in the above surface. So I actually don't see any more that have spawned. But I can spawn a couple using one of the spawn eggs, I guess, as an example. So, if you go into your category for mo creatures, where all the spawn eggs are, the golem is one of the red ones. There we go, red and blue. So, I can spawn a golem, and I've only seen them so far with emerald and diamond blocks attached to them. So there's the emerald dude, there's the diamond dude, there's a gold dude, and there's an iron dude. Oh, is it just me, or can I not actually hit him while he's in block building mode? That's a scary thought. I can't. Well, I'm hitting him, but I'm not sure if I'm actually causing any damage. So, they all have the chance of uh, dropping that particular ore block. So then you can get nine of whatever particular ore they have. As I said before, they only get to be big golems when you're within eight blocks. So because I spawned them all near me, they're going to start collecting blocks. As soon as they start collecting blocks and say you run away because you realized you were close to one, they're still going to collect blocks. So as soon as they've been in with eight blocks of you, no matter what, they're going to start uh, generating, generating blocks. So I'm just going to switch it back into peaceful mode here so they disappear. Because frankly they are a pretty evil mob to have lying around. And I guess that is it for this video. And I will catch you guys later.